What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video and we watched Wilk Chamberlain's video last week about like five, I think it was five facts to make or to show that he was unhuman or something like that. I've got the name of it already, it was by Mike Kozemba, Mike Kozemba, I'm saying his name wrong as well, but I thought oh, you guys said to go and check out some of his highlights and I saw this one, Will, oh, Will Chamberlain, a real Superman, okay, and there was other videos but I thought this one looked like the best one, it looks like a small documentary, so... This will be good. If also, if you're new, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you enjoy, of course. If you don't, then for you. Well, I should make that clear then. If the pass is not there, or somebody else is open. Hey, how? I think they'd say how tall he was. He's seven something. He's seven foot something. It's absolute. How he ain't getting there? On the basketball court and everywhere else. One sports writer Seven likened wings the first sight of what that? that to the Nine first sight of the New York City skyline. What is that in? Um, I say night. In that's not feet. Should be feet. Yeah, feet. What am I doing? Is seven point six wingspan. Jesus, man, that man's got some length on it. Whether seen from up close or afar, you just kind of went. Wow. I'm gonna have it all leave with him. Wilt was a Paul Bunyan figure. Mythic. In His what he legs are so long. Do. Oh, yeah, this is when they used to do the high jump. That he way. was Goliath. The strongest uh, basketball player that ever lived. He, Case closed. Strongest that ever lived. He played a game against the Detroit Pistons. Well, he plays everything. In the game, he blocked. Let's say he's at ease, massive. This should be six shots. On the 55 rebound game, how about that? 55 rebounds. 55 won rebounds. won seven scoring titles. He won nine shooting titles. He won 11 rebound titles. And then he left the league in assists one year. And that is, that is When he was in the latter part of his career, the news media or somebody would walk up to him and say, oh, Nuts. you can't score anymore. 50. 60, then he go back to passing the ball or whatever. And if you challenged him, that just took him to another level in terms of, okay, I'll do this. Look at that. I'll I, do I'm that. not going to lie, I would never be able to score past any of It's not possible for any One human being game to do the kinds of things that he was all. able to do. Like Cream doing that. In an 80 game season, he played 79 complete games. He missed eight minutes of one game because it got thrown out. Other than that, he played every moment of every one of those games. That was inconceivable to us. How the hell do you stay so strong all season? How do you avoid fouling out? How do you take a beating every oh, night? Oh, I thought he was the one by the dunk. No, he's defended. And come back the next night fresh as a daisy. How the hell do you do this, Willie? Just one game, 48 minutes a game is really enough, you know what But uh, playing a whole season, I know quite a few people, I think I saw a lot of things saying he's like some I mean, when time. I look back in retrospect, I said, what were they doing to me? Jesus, there must have been some time when I could have gotten, gotten a rest. 50 points a game. That's does right. he need to jump? 5-0. Uh, does he need 50. to jump? Oh, does he actually does look like he needs to jump. Not, not very 50 high. points a game. <laughs> 50 points. He's averaging 50. That, that's not Cream, is it? The reason I thought that looked like Cream, because this is way before Cream played. He'd it? get 63. He'd get 70. I mean, miraculous things. We are he's just dunking what everything. He's doing out there against the best players in the world. Michael Jordan scored 50 or more points 31 times in his career. Times. Impressive. Wilt did it 45 times in one season. I've done 45 you know, times in one season. Road, Tyler, and I guess he's the first and last seven foot guard in the game of basketball, but we wanted him to handle the ball more because that's what the people came to see. Will Chamberlain was another one that I met and trained with. Will Chamberlain. You trained with Will Chamberlain? Yeah, Is that Arnie? Will Chamberlain. He came to the gym and he would do a tricep extension. The, like the big guys, the strongest guys. We'll do let's say 120 pounds, let's say, tricep extension, pulling down, right? 
he would come and he would do 150, 170 pounds in each chamber. That's how strong he was. They always said he was by far the strongest person oh, who's he ever played in the NBA. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. he, I remember that he lifted... He's not going to lie. He doesn't... He looks big. He does look big. He's a giant. Big. A professional wrestler. Oh, yeah. He's a very good friend of mine. And Will Chamberlain, we both went out for dinner several times in Mexico City when we did the movie down there. Yeah. The Conan movie. And, you know, both of them were just, you know, picking me up always. They were both joking about who can pick me up and make me look like lighter and like a little fly. And was it because they were so powerful. It's just hard for people to fight. They both, Andre and John is a wrestler, isn't he? And they both picked Arnie up like he was a fly. I don't even know how tall Arnie is, but all that body weight from the fucking muscle. I would talk about him. People said, no, he couldn't have done that. And I'm telling you, it's something that I saw. He was just a great, great basketball player. This is like and a freak of nature. People say to me, well, Shaquille weighed 50 to 75 pounds more than Wilt, and he would be able to do whatever. Wilt would take Shaquille O'Neal and move him around like he was a rag doll. But Chamberlain rebounds and scores. Well, it's, like, it's one of those things you can't, you will never know. Because obviously they did play the other. The league leading score banks it in there. The shot goes up and in. Block on this play. He's a man in Oscar Robertson passes to Will Chamberlain, who jams it in. Bounce passes to Wait, Will it, Chamberlain. It just looks so, it just looks way too easy. Well, I believe Will Chamberlain proved himself this year to be the greatest player in the history of this game of professional basketball. We've known for years that Will could score uh, What's the best of them? I'm guessing uh, Wilt's better than Bill. One year he even averaged 50 points a game, and in that year even had a 100-point effort in one single game. But this year Wilt got the goal that he wanted. He won the whole thing. He proved be to everyone that he's a winner and that he can play on the greatest team, play center for the greatest team in the history of this game of basketball. Wilt has the power, the strength to get the rebounds. Back this year he was his defense was. Uh, Unparalleled, in my opinion, playing a team type of defense. He's just and, swatting the balls we out of the air. Relying upon Wilt to do all of our scoring for us, we relied on Wilt to play the center position and open things up so everyone could score. And I've, I've got to say this: when we got in trouble, Wilt may not have scored a, a great many points through the whole year, but when we got in trouble, we did go to the big guy and he responded with the big points when we needed them. Now, of course, Wilt is much stronger than both of them, so he will muscle and do a better job in close. Uh, looking ahead to the uh, World He's Series playoffs with monster. Philadelphia, uh, we figured that we're going to have numerous problems, starting with Will Chamberlain, who uh, naturally is the most devastating player in the league right now. I wasn't He's sure. I didn't know he played for the Lakers. Will upset your patterns almost. Any play you try to run, you try to run it around Will Chamberlain. But the greatest scorer in NBA history can still hit the hoop. In fact, Wilt became the first player ever to shoot over 70% for a full season. And for the 11th time, he led the league in rebounding. Much comment has been made okay. on the change in Chamberlain's hey, style. From Lumber to an integral part of a five-man team is quite a jump, even for Wilt. <laughs> Alex Hannum. This year, I was fortunate to uh, take over a team that had the talent that uh, allowed Will to play the style of ball he did this year. It was not necessary music. for him to score. They don't need, don't uh, need music for video like this. It wasn't necessary Let for him to carry um, the whole load uh, He had the type of talent to play with, and uh, this gave uh, me all kinds of weapons. But the weapon the fans still love I guess you're never really going to get, like, all you Will style. Style. <laughs> Whenever this is, I actually have no clue what it was. It seems like most of his points are dunks. Which I'm guessing when you're 7'3 or whatever he is, 7'1, even have a 50 inch vertical, whatever he had, you gotta dunk it pretty much all the time. Damn, that was good, that was good. That by Wilt Chamberlain Archives. He's made a whole channel just. Props to him, props to him, but yeah. So guys, let me know what player I should check out next. I know someone said Tracy McGrady, I think that's his name, or I said someone would say um, Jason Williams. There's a few players I want to check out. I'm going to check out quite a few more. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you